This is one of the most important distinctions in B2B sales. You need to find, you know, this is the difference between consumer sales and B2B. You need to find the person who can actually say yes to you. Because there's lots of people that can say no. So what I did was, uh, and this is what I use as the waterfall technique. Uh, so I said, okay, forget that. If the VP of marketing, the director of marketing at McDonald's is my decision maker, that's who I'm going to write. And, you know, I went out with the director of marketing. They just pushed me back down to the agency. So I said, okay, well, if I'm writing this person, trying to get to this other person, and they're just delegating it down, leveraging it down, you know, what if I contacted the people above them? Like, what do I know about this organization? You know, and, and if you think about it, you know, the CEO of any organization, CMO, VP of whatever, they're, they don't do all the work, right? They delegate it to other people. They leverage other people. And the people below them, part of their job is to do a good job in the eyes of the people above them. So what if you contacted the people above your actual target? So it's, it's very similar to any negotiation, right? If you want $100,000, you ask for $140,000, you know, and you meet somewhere in the middle, you know, between that. So what I did was, and what I recommend you do if you're going into a large organization is don't look at it as one person, one company, look at it as multiple people in the organization, who is the decision maker. Now, I also don't know if I'm going into a large organization, we can talk about, you know, what to do in a smaller organization. But if I'm going into a larger organization, I don't know uh, who the real decision maker is, because I'd go to AT&T, telecom company in the States, or, and, and there was multiple people in the organization, and it was always a different title. And even when I thought I was going to meet with the right person, it was the wrong person. You know, I got the meeting, turns out it was somebody else. So that, it takes a lot of work to figure that out. And frankly, I, what I realized is I couldn't figure it out on the outside because many times the people on the inside couldn't even figure it out. So what this also does is when you're targeting, say, the CEO, CMO, VP of marketing, and you're writing individual emails to all of them, telling them, you know, you wrote to each one of them, uh, they would they would tell you who the person is that you need to, to contact or who you need to target. So that's really the first step in any cold emailing exercise is you know, to identify, well, it, this is actually the second step. There's a step before this, but to identify who the decision maker is in the organization and who it is you should be contacting and then getting leverage, just like you got leverage with me because you got a referral from somebody else that I, you know, I know and trust. Uh, which means that like, hey, this isn't a waste of my time because that's really one of the things that I'm trying to decide. Like, is this going to be worth my time? 